Do you experience pain and swelling of the feet? Did you wake up one morning with pain and swelling in the feet? Or do you see changes in the shape of your toes? Is this arthritis of the feet? Today's topic is arthritis of the feet, a condition affecting millions of people worldwide. In this video, I will discuss the top five things you need to know about arthritis of the feet, including the differences between osteoarthritis, bunions, rheumatoid arthritis, psoriatic arthritis, and gout that can affect your feet. Let's begin. Rheumatologistoncall.com Arthritis of the feet is a common condition manifesting as joint pain, swelling, and stiffness. Pain in the feet can come from multiple reasons. If you do not recall any trauma that can cause a fracture or a ligament rupture, then pain in the feet might be a sign of arthritis. The most common types of arthritis that affect the feet are osteoarthritis, bunions, rheumatoid arthritis, psoriatic arthritis, and gout. Each type of arthritis has unique symptoms and treatments, and I will address them here. Osteoarthritis of the feet. Osteoarthritis is the most common form of arthritis typically affecting older adults. It occurs when the cartilage in the joints breaks down, leading to bone-on-bone -bone friction and sometimes low-degree inflammation. Osteoarthritis of the feet often affects the big toe, causing pain, not much swelling, but it may also cause some stiffness. It can also cause bony growth or spurs to form around the joint, leading to limited mobility. It can act up during cold weather or after a long walk when your body puts more pressure on your feet or after walking on concrete flooring, again due to increased pressure on the toes because of your body. The feet can be painful but not deformed. Sometimes the toes can deform and look like hammer toes or develop bunions. Let's talk next about what are bunions. Bunions are bony bump that forms on the joint at the base of the big toe. This is a deformity that happens at the big toe that can cause pain and discomfort and can also make it difficult to wear certain types of shoes. Smaller bunions or bunionettes can develop on the joint of your little toe. Bunions can be caused by a variety of factors, including genetics, arthritis, and wearing very tight, ill-fitting shoes. They are more common in females than in males, and they can develop at any age. In addition to the visible bump, Symptoms of bunions may include pain, swelling, redness, and stiffness in that area. If it's left untreated, bunions can lead to complications, such as callosis or bursitis. Rheumatoid arthritis. Rheumatoid arthritis is an autoimmune disease that is caused by the immune system that attacks the joints, leading to inflammation and damage. Rheumatoid arthritis can affect any joint in the body, including the feet. When rheumatoid arthritis affects the feet, patients experience pain, swelling, stiffness, and deformities. Most of the time, the feet are affected on both sides in a symmetric pattern. Patients describe difficulties walking in the morning. They feel like they are walking on pebbles. Moving is always helpful. In about one hour or in a few hours, the stiffness in the feet disappears. Now, if you want to even learn more how to live better with rheumatoid arthritis, I do encourage you to get my five days free rheumatoid arthritis challenge. I will post the link in the comments of this video. In these five days of rheumatoid arthritis challenge, you will learn how to improve the symptoms of rheumatoid arthritis naturally with real
research proven strategies, how to quickly and safely reduce inflammation level and increase energy levels. You will learn which superfoods have been proven to help you alleviate the pain and fatigue caused by rheumatoid arthritis. And you will also learn which supplements are beneficial in rheumatoid arthritis. So you can reduce stiffness and move better. Now let's move forward to another reason for feet arthritis, and that is psoriatic arthritis. Psoriatic arthritis is a type of arthritis that affects people with psoriasis, which is a skin disease characterized by scaly patches on the skin. About 20% of people with psoriasis will develop this type of arthritis called psoriatic arthritis. Patients can develop pain, swelling, and stiffness in the joints, including the feet. The most common sign of psoriatic arthritis in the feet will include saucy digits or dactylitis. In that case, one of the digits will swell up, will look like a sausage, and can be painful. Although it may look like gout, usually the pain is not so bad in patients with psoriatic arthritis. However, the toes can look diffusely swollen and then the swelling can go up and down. Psoriatic arthritis can affect tendons, and the most common tendons affected in the feet are Achilles tendons and plantar fascia. Achilles tendon can be painful, swollen, red, and patients could have difficulties to walk. When plantar fascia is affected, patients have symptoms of plantar fasciitis. That means that you may have pain when you wake up, Pain with the first steps, and then when the plantar fascia is stretched, the pain can ameliorate. These episodes of repeated plantar fasciitis should draw attention, and if you have psoriasis, you should mention about your skin disease and ask to be evaluated by a rheumatologist. Many patients get treated multiple times by orthopedics, podiatrists, before they are seen by a rheumatologist. So don't forget, when something is repeating, you should find out what is the cause of that. In aggressive cases of psoriatic arthritis, the bones of the joints can be severely affected and even destroyed. So once again, it's crucial to have a diagnosis and to get the treatment in the right time frame, especially for psoriatic arthritis where the diagnosis is hard to make. If you want to learn more about psoriatic arthritis, watch this video in my channel. Gout. Gout is a type of arthritis caused by the buildup of uric acid crystals in the joints, and that can cause severe inflammation and pain. Many patients, especially males, but also females after menopause, will know that if you develop a red, hot and extremely painful swelling of the first toe, this might be a sign of gout. Gout affecting the big toe is also called podagra. You should ask your primary care physician to test your levels of uric acid, although in some cases, if the uric acid is testing during the gout attack, it may be normal. Now, what can you do to treat the feet arthritis? The treatment for arthritis of the feet depends on the type of arthritis and the severity of your disease. I will explain to you briefly what can be done for these five types of arthritis. For osteoarthritis and bunions, conservative treatments such as wearing supportive shoes, orthotics or shoe inserts, and physical therapy may help alleviate the pain and improve mobility. In severe cases, surgery may be necessary to remove bony growth or repair misaligned joints. For rheumatoid arthritis and psoriatic arthritis, medications such as non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs or NSAIDs, disease-modifying anti-rheumatic drugs or DMARDs 
or biologic agents may be prescribed to reduce inflammation and slow the progression of the disease. Physical therapy and exercise can also help improve flexibility and strength in those affected joints. Medications such as non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs called chisin or corticosteroids may be prescribed to reduce pain and inflammation during a gout attack. Now, long-term medications such as allopurinol, febusoxtat, may also be prescribed to prevent future attacks of gout. Let me give you some lifestyle tips to help you manage arthritis of the feet. Number one, you should wear comfortable shoes with a wide toe box and good arch support to reduce pressure on the joints of your feet. Number two, you should use orthotic inserts or shoe pads to help cushion and support the feet and improve overall comfort. Number three, it is important to maintain a healthy weight to reduce the pressure on the joints and to minimize the risk of developing arthritis in the feet. Number four, also important, incorporate low impact exercises such as walking, cycling and swimming into your routine to improve your joint mobility and reduce the pain. Number five, practice good foot hygiene, such as keeping the feet clean and dry and trimming toenails regularly to prevent infections or ingrown toenails. Number six, if you have pain and swelling, you may use heat or eyes therapy to the affected joints to reduce inflammation and alleviate pain. And number seven, avoid activities or footwear that will exacerbate symptoms such as high impact exercise or high heels. In conclusion, arthritis of the feet is a common condition that can affect anyone. It is essential to understand there are different types of arthritis and it's essential to get an accurate diagnosis and treatment in the right time frame. Osteoarthritis, bunions, rheumatoid arthritis, psoriatic arthritis and gout have unique symptoms and treatments. If you are experiencing foot pain or discomfort, leave me a comment and tell me, have you ever experienced pain in the feet? I hope this video has provided valuable information. If you or someone that you know experience pain in the feet, remember there is always help available. My company, Rheumatologist on Call, is able to see patients in multiple US states. Reach out to us if needed. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to support the educational efforts of my videos. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Rheumatologistoncall.com